how do we bridge the gap between physical and non-physical? And I think the next biggest question is whether or not consciousness is a necessary variable in all of this. Is consciousness a fundamental property of this energy? Is it the energy itself? Does panpsychism have a place in these ideas? And if not, and if consciousness is just an emergent property of these physical systems, can it still have an effect in a direct relationship with the energy and the matter? Because if reality at its most basic level is a sea of energy, then where does consciousness fit into all of this? This is where the double slit experiment is so powerful. In the double slit experiment, a particle like an electron acts like a wave. It's in multiple places at once until you introduce a measurement to it. That measurement changes everything. Most scientists say this is the observer effect. The quantum wave of the particle is so sensitive that the act of measuring it, the physical interaction with the detector forces it to choose a single location. It's a purely physical interaction that causes the wave to collapse into a particle. But there's a few people that have argued that it's not the detector that causes the collapse. It's actually the conscious effort to measure and observe the result. The idea is that the particle doesn't really choose a location until a conscious mind registers the information. But scientists are pretty good at ruling out these kinds of ideas. They've run experiments with automated detectors that measure the particles and store the data without a human ever looking at it. And even in these cases, the particles still act like they were observed, and they collapse into a single location. This would suggest that the physical interaction of measurement and not consciousness is the cause. Still, this all leaves us with a truly ultimate mystery. If reality is fundamentally energy, and that energy seems to be the source of all physical matter, where does the consciousness fit into all of it? There's a few different ways to think about this.